for my brothers and my sisters who are caged behind us in Otay Mesa, a private detention center. We want them to know that we are here, we hear them, we feel them, we see them, and we are here for them and with them. about the, uh, what Haiti represents. After years of slavery, we fought the biggest army of the time. We fought Napoleon, y'all, and we won. Now imagine enslaved people taken from different tribes of Africa come to a place where we are dismantled. Our families dismantled and thinking when my forefathers, whose blood run through my veins, fought to create a nation, a people, a language, and we said, upon this land, we shall be free, and we shall be free indeed, no matter what your ethnicity, your color, your country of origin, if you stand foot on Haiti, you will no longer be owned by another person. This is the idea that we continue to fight for today. This is the idea that the United States is, is saying that they want to uphold. to say enough is enough. A country you are, we are never welcomed in, yet we continue to die for. As I stand before you today, we want President Biden, the Vice President, Secretary Mayorkas, to listen to the cry of the people to end Title 42. There is no reason for us to continue the same policies that came from the previous administration that I shall not name. If we continue those same policies, those same ideologies, those same racist narratives, how can we build better? as a nation, as a people, must welcome others with dignity. We went for the Haitians, but we stayed for everyone. And we will continue to fight for everyone.